हेलो एवरीवन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर ने न्यू अनाउंसमेंट किया है दैट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2023 डेट म्यूचुअल फंड्स और एनी म्यूचुअल फंड्स वेयर लेस देन 35 परसेंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज इन डोमेस्टिक इक्विटी मार्केट विल बी टैक्स एट मार्जिनल रेट वॉट इज मार्जिनल रेट मार्जिनल रेट सिंपली मीन्स दैट यू विल बी टैक्स एज पर योर स्लैब रेट्स सो इफ यू आर अ डोमेस्टिक कंपनी Tax will be applicable at flat 30 percent. If you are individual and falling under the highest tax slab, then again you will be taxed at 30 percent. Apart from changing the rate of tax, they have also announced that on this mutual fund scheme, benefit of indexation will not be available even if it is held for long term. So basically, there are two main amendments. One, there is a revision in tax rate. From flat twenty percent to the marginal rate, which can be flat thirty percent if you are on that side. Secondly, there will be no indexation benefit. So, if there is no indexation benefit, cost of acquisition will reduce and capital gain will increase. So, on one hand, there will be increase in capital gains because of no indexation, and on the other hand, tax rate applicable will also be higher. Let us understand this provision with an example. Suppose Mr. A has purchased a mutual fund. Which is a debt mutual fund in the year eighteen nineteen for rupees three lakhs. In the year twenty two twenty three, he sold this fund for rupees five lakhs. So the selling price is rupees five lakhs, and the purchase price was rupees three lakhs. As per the old tax regime, indexation benefit was available. So if you calculate index cost of acquisition, index cost of acquisition of three lakh rupees will three lakhs fifty four thousand six forty three. Thereby giving us long-term capital gains of rupees one lakh forty-five thousand three fifty-seven. On this capital gains, it was subject to flat twenty percent tax. Thereby, we were supposed to pay tax of rupees twenty-nine thousand seventy-one. So previously, on five lakh sale consideration, after taking benefit of indexation, long-term capital gain tax would have been rupees twenty-nine thousand seventy-one. But if After first April two thousand twenty-three, in the same situation where the mutual funds units are sold for rupees five lakhs and the purchase price was rupees three lakhs, in that scenario, no indexation will be available. That is, two lakh rupees will be the long-term capital gains, and on that two lakh, if you are falling under highest tax bracket, thirty percent means sixty thousand will be your tax liability. So under old tax regime. Tax was payable somewhere around twenty nine thousand seventy one rupees. Under new tax regime, the same will be payable at rupees sixty thousand. So there is a substantial difference as far as tax amount is concerned. Seeing this calculation, we can say that there will be less traction now in debt mutual fund schemes. However, people can switch to balanced mutual fund schemes where thirty five to sixty five percent is invested in equity market. Please do remember. any mutual fund scheme where less than 35% investment is made in domestic market is covered by this amendment this include debt schemes this include gold mutual fund schemes this include purely international investment schemes so all these schemes will no longer get a benefit of indexation and tax rate would be as per the marginal rates with this announcement classa has stated that there will be no tax arbitrage in different debt instruments in india that is bank fd and debt mutual fund will now be taxed at par this will reduce the investment in debt instruments